Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my August favourites for you all. The month of August was insane. Like there were so many ups and so many downs. It was ridiculous. I hope that a month like how my August was never happens again. But anyway, I have a few beauty favourites to show you all. So yeah, let's just get into it. Let's start off with primer. This little dinky guy is like the baby of Happy HQ. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Oil Free. It's basically just their standard foundation primer. I love this. It's very, very similar to the Lancome La Base Pro Primer. And also I think it's very, very similar to the Bare Minerals and also the Maybelline Primer, the Age Rewind one. I think it's very, very similar to that, but I do really, really enjoy this. And it's a cute little itty bitty baby size. So yeah, can't go wrong with that. And you can pick that up from Mecca Maxima, the little baby size. Foundation. I have been obsessed with the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is so, so, so good. I love it. I need to pick up a darker color for when I'm like this dark. Um, but yeah, for reference, I have the shade one one N117. So if you're normally like lighter than NC15 in MAC, I would recommend this to you. It is more of a neutral tone, but I really, really enjoy it. It's really, really nice coverage and it lasts a really, really long time as well. If you do own this foundation and you are kind of like NC20, NC30-ish, um, comment down below what shade you are in this or what you think you are because I really, really want to pick up another one of these, but I can only pick them up online or I need to travel all the way to Redburn and that's so far. So yeah. And a first impressions of this will be coming up very, very, very shortly. Sticking with bases, I have fallen back in love with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This one is in the shade Fair Claire number 10. Um, Priceline's just recently done their half price Maybelline sale, so I definitely picked up a few of these in different colors. So you'll see that in a future haul video, I think maybe either a video or two after this one. But yeah, I've been loving this lately. It's so, so good. And I don't know, normally it has like the little dome thing. Hold on, let me show you. Normally it has a little dome thing like this one. Obviously I haven't used this one yet, it's like brand new, but this one I've been adoring. I have ripped off the little sponge guy just because I think the sponge absorbs so much product and I generally like to apply it with my fingers anyway. So I just ripped the little sponge off, it looks like this, it kind of looks a bit manky, but it does the job, you don't waste any product this way and it's more hygienic I think. For lips, I haven't been wearing a lot of lipstick at all. I've really just been enjoying these Carrez Lip Butter Glazers, I bought four of these and I just love all of them. This one is the raspberry flavor and this one is the, oh no, this is the one that I can't say, Glory? I'm not too sure how to say that one, but it's a really, really nice peachy coral color, I think. <laughs> I don't know, you can see it. And I've been obsessing over the jasmine one and then there's one other one that I can't remember either, but I absolutely adore these, they're so, so, so good. I've been using a little bit of eyeliner this month, which is really, really surprising for me considering I don't wear eyeliner often. Um, but I have been loving and I've always loved the Rimmel Scandalize Colk Gel Eyeliner Pencils. This is probably my favorite one. It's in the shade 003 Brown. Um, it isn't a matte brown, like it isn't just, it does have shimmer in it and I have a hair on my face. Yeah, it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's like nice gold reflexes, which really, really makes my brown eyes just look like, whew. Just a side note, I have been pale, like this shade for the basically the entire month and a little bit of last month as well I think um, just because it just because I've been so so incredibly busy so I've been loving these two together this is the Mac Harmony blush it's a matte blush that I like for contouring um, it looks like that there and then I've been also loving the Illamasqua blush up brush it's just one of those flat brushes I'll put on a little bit now it's really, really good and it's like just the right size as well. Like, I don't know, I really, really enjoy it. It's nothing like the NARS brush, nothing at all. This is a very, very dense brush and I personally really, really like it. It's just the right size to get enough contour. You, of course, don't want your contour to go to like here. Like you really just want your contour to stop at where your eyebrow, like the tail of your eyebrow is. So as you can see, if you draw a line, like that's where mine stops. 
that's generally where it looks the most natural. If you bring it in any more than that, it can start to look very, very fake very, very fast. Now that's not to say that some people don't do that and it looks nice on them because I do know some people that do it and it does look nice on them, but I've just learned from my face shape to just um, line it up to the corner of my, the tail of my eyebrow. That's just how it looks the best for me at least. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. I absolutely adore this. I'm not wearing it today, but it's just so, so beautiful. If you apply it with like a fluffier brush, you get the most luminous glow. If you apply it with a more dense, compact brush, you get the most beautiful, intense highlight. It's so versatile. I've used it as an eyeshadow. I've used it just, it's just so beautiful. You need to try it. It's amazing. Go get it. It's worth every single cent. It is so, so beautiful. I don't own Moon, um, what's the other one? Opal? I don't own that one, but I personally do like this one better just because it's more yellow. And I don't know, like I have more yellow undertone, so I do like to bring out that inner glow. So if I was to use a pink highlighter, it would look a bit more artificial and a bit more unnatural, I guess. What makeup is seriously natural, but I don't know. I just prefer this because it does look more realistic on my skin tone. Then lastly is mascara. This is all that I have on my eyes today. It is first I use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I'll show you what the wand looks like as well. I like this wand. It's actually really, really nice. It's very, very teeny tiny. And I like to do that so I'm able to basically coat every single individual lash and as well as my lower lashes as well. And then I go in with Maybelline The Falsies. Looks like this. Everyone knows what this looks like. And I basically just go in with this after and then I go in with this again and it just gives me the most beautiful eyelashes. I'm so so happy. I haven't been wearing fake eyelashes recently um, just because I don't know like I haven't been in the mood to I guess but yeah been loving those two mascaras. I would highly recommend either of them. I think they're very very good. And then I must give a little honorable mention to the Too Faced Bulletproof Brow. I did do a review on this. I do like the product itself but I don't like the packaging, it just dries up so, so fast. If you watch the review, it gives you more of my thoughts and opinions, but because I still have it in my collection, I still am quite enjoying it a lot. But that's not to say that I would repurchase anytime soon. Oh gosh, it just got all so bright all of a sudden. The clouds, the sun is moving in between the clouds, so sorry about that. But last product is the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes. You guys know that I love the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I absolutely adore that. But I must admit, on an everyday basis, I do like to reach for something smaller and a bit more compact with a little less variety. Because if I have like, if I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, I like to play around and experiment, and it's so much fun and yay and we. But like, in the mornings, I just simply do not have the time for that. So I have been really, really enjoying the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette. How it looks like this, I really, really enjoy it. I especially love these three shades here. I like putting these two on the lid and then this one to highlight the brow bone. And then I like just using like this gray to just kind of like define my outer corner. I just find it really, really nice. It's really, really versatile, even though there are only nine shades in this palette. I do think it's a very, very nice palette. If you want value for money, I'll definitely recommend the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, but I do really, really enjoy this one because it does save me time essentially because I'm not playing around with different colors. I'm kind of just going back to the same things. And it's really, really small and compact and cute. So, okay guys, so that's the end of my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment down below what you loved for the month of August and also some beauty channels that you have loved. So yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.